I'm an Afro-American collective mom, mahogany Afro-American. That means I'm a light-skinned, well, dark light-skinned. Well, a dark-skinned mahogany Afro-American. That means I'm dark light-skinned. Too light-skinned to be brown skin or dark caramel. Peanut butter and lighter. Watch the video. I've solved the colorism problem once and for all. Watch the video. You'll see where I'm coming from. So, I'm just not going to go <coughs> on these categories. I know you know you got it bad when dark skin and light skin people play hot, hot job application with your, um, with what, 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 where you fall in, in the, in the, in the complexion spectrum. But neither party wants to accept, neither party wants to accept you in their, um, race on they, or in their category. You're too dark to be light skin, too light to be dark skin. I don't know what the fuck. All I know is, you know, got a bad one to black community that turn it back on you. You got to fend for yourself. That's about it. When a black man to turn on you, you ain't got nobody else. Because whites, white folks, and all the non-Afro-American collectors, or the non-Sub-Saharan Afro-collective types, they just know how to screw you over. So you all alone. Me, I'm all alone. Whether I like to admit it or not, even. Whether I like to own up to it or not, even in my own family, I'm like, I'm the scapegoat. Well, I don't come back home. I don't need to come back home. I just want to get my RV squared away that I make my videos in. I want to get my RV squared away so I can see fuck everybody. I personally don't give a fuck. Oh, fuck it. And it is what it is. I know it is. That's from Quackula back in the day. I've been watching Quackula. Uh, the filmation cartoon Quackula. I've been watching him lately. He was voiced by Frank Wilkins. That dude did every kind of voice. He's like the Robin Williams of voice of the voiceover game. And he's been in the game for like 55 plus years, man. I'm like, he did stand up. Started doing stand up, doing like all these voice impersonations. Because we all know him as Megatron. We all know him as Freddy and Scooby Doo. That's Frank and Trump and, 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 and Curious George and all these other animals. He's like. One of the best in the game. Man of millions of voices. I'm like, not a thousand, millions. That's Frank Welker. He tripped me out, man. He's truly a classic. For all ages. Now. Um. Ooh. Spurs one. 119, 117 in Dallas. Ooh. And Dallas is ahead of the... Dallas top the Midwest. And Dallas top the uh, Southwest division. Not Midwest, Southwest. All right. Um, woo! Yeah, again, like I said, man, you know... I used to get a mixed people. Y'all need to go your own way. Black people don't like it. And they keep emphasizing it, and y'all dumbasses keep defending that y'all black and putting Kamala Harris on a pedestal and allowing uh, black people to uplift y'all and then revoking your blackness when y'all benefit from light skin privilege. I mean, haven't y'all realized y'all in a toxic relationship with black people? They don't fucking like you. Have you realized that? But y'all keep on talking about, oh, I'm my black, and you can't, you can't, you can't revoke my blackness, I'm black, and there's no, you're, it, it's in the labeling. Oh, my God. It is in the 
anyway. You they they can't take away your sub-Saharan African roots from you. They don't have to be black. But you ain't finna take my African roots from me and I don't give a fuck what the pack of what say. Oh the white man gonna look at you as a black man, they, that's that gaslighting thing. I'm gonna make, probably make another video about how black people gaslight you into blackness. Because they're masters of gaslighting. That's how they survive. That's how they fucking survive. You gotta gaslight light skinned niggas. And the blackness and all that. And it's like, it's a ridiculous state of affairs. You don't have to be like yourself to get gaslit by fucking insecure, hate filled, bigoted black people. Black women, especially, so insecure. Look, I say this again. Let them hoes bigger amongst themselves based on beauty and all that. Let them bigger. Black people, establish blackness. Establish boundaries. Stop letting light-skinned people and light-skinned privilege get the fucking best of you. I've, told, I've said this many times, and I'm going to say it again. Because that's what they're going to do, based on the society it's in. You're not going to benefit from it. Kamala Harris benefits from it. She's a multiracial terrorist. So is Donald Brown. She's multiracial. She's not fully 100% black. Well, in reality, everybody's 100% black, but well, 100% African, ancient African, which counts as African anyway. Because that's how dominant the African gene is. The message is... Y'all need to... My goodness. They need to get it together. Seriously. You're in a toxic relationship with black people, and yet... And, 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 well, I mean black, I'm talking about dark skin. Y'all in a toxic relationship with each other, and you just don't want to own up to it. I'm, me, me personally, I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done. I'm just gonna say I'm Afro American collective. You go around believing your lies, <sighs> leaving y'all unified in this colorism cycle. Y'all go around. You see what, what 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 um what Cardi B and Lisa Ray doing? Black women. You see they don't like you. Y'all and black women they just bash the shit out of light skin and mixed people. I see this all the time. When black people act all, they act their loud, ignorant selves, light skinned people just back away. They make little hate, their, little slick comments on their hatred toward, they hate toward black people. And the vice versa, when light skinned people do that corny shit, that infuriates rage toward black people. I've had it happen to me many times. We cool, but when I say or do something that black people don't like, it, it, it infuriates a, a rage in them. They get fucking crazy. I'm kind of starting out to feel sorry for a lot of black folks because of the extreme ways. The world be too much more. And they're a unique race. Black people, y'all are dominant. Y'all, y'all just the most extreme about everything. Y'all the best and the worst at everything. You don't own up to it. You probably, that's probably why the world looks at y'all with such disdain. It's criminalistic because of y'all's extreme nature. But the white supremacists wanted to focus on the fact that y'all, of y'all's negativity. Back on y'all negative side. They want to focus on, okay, okay look. We need to get the focus on the negative attributes of the black man instead of the focus on instead of focus on the positive. They focus on the positive. The white supremacist insecurities, the white man's insecurities, and society's insecurities is going to come up because the black man is just that damn good at everything. Skin is just the best and the worst at everything. black woman is the most beautiful woman on the planet, yet she tends to be the ugliest from time to time. 
sometimes. That's just a fact. That's why sometimes you gotta think about, you know, y'all using light skinned people as a crutch because of certain similar sub Saharan African features, and y'all just calling them, y'all just throwing them in the blackness category. Y'all not thinking about things. All I'm saying is, <coughs> just think. Think. Stop and think. That, that's what the white supremacists don't want you to do. They want, they want you to stop and think. They want to keep on aggravating you and you get mixed the, missed the fucking point. Just stop and think. Alright. Talk to you later.